Good evening, beautiful Victorians, and welcome to Hastings. My name is Neil Blake, and I'm your MC for this evening's event. Unfortunately, we're not able to present the event in our traditional way of a formal dinner and presentation, COVID strikes again, but it's my pleasure to be your host tonight. And as we celebrate the 39th year of the Keep Victoria Beautiful Sustainable Communities Tidy Town Awards. Our patron, Linda DeSau, the Governor of Victoria, is unable to be with us, but sends her best wishes and congratulations to all our finalists. We welcome our special guests, Mayor of Mornington Peninsula Shire, Despie O'Connor, Cerebus Ward Councillor, Lisa Dixon, Keep Victoria Beautiful Board members, Dick Gross, Enzo Bruchella, Kirsty Richards, John Velastro and Carly Wickenton. Keep Victoria Beautiful CEO, Sabina Wills, Mayors, Councillors and CEOs of Shires and Regional Councils and our valued and valuable Tidy Towns community. Keep Victoria Beautiful thanks all our wonderful judges who volunteered their time to investigate all the incredible projects this year. They are Caitlin Burns, Caitlin Stanier, Alan Thomas, Pip Bell and Jeremy Seward. Keep Victoria Beautiful also thanks those organisations that offered to support the intended live event. The Mornington Peninsula Shire, Dolphin Research Institute, Briars Nursery, Western Port Men's Shed, Hastings Rotary Club and Hastings Lions Club. Before we begin this evening's proceedings, there are a few small housekeeping matters. We politely request you switch your mobile phones to silent. We invite you to now pick up your bread and butter plate. Turn it over to see if there's a green dot on the bottom. To identify the lucky winner of our wonderful door prize. If you did find a green dot, you may need to reassess your dishwashing practices. Now let's get on with the proceedings. Hello, Hello from, from Hastings. Hastings. In the language of the traditional owners of the land here on the Mornington Peninsula, Wamanjika, welcome. I'd like to pay my respects to the elders, families and ancestors of the Bunurong Bunurong people who have been the custodians of this land for many thousands of years. And acknowledge the land on which we're standing is the place of age old ceremonies, celebrations, initiations and renewal. And that the Bunurong Bunurong people's living culture continues to have a unique role in the life of this region. I'm delighted to welcome you virtually to the beautiful township of Hastings. We would have loved to have hosted you all here and shown you around our beautiful town in person. But alas, that's not possible this year. I'm very proud of what we have achieved here in Hastings. We were named Victoria's Tidy Town of the Year last year, and we won the Australian Tidy Town title this year. I'm thrilled Hastings has been recognised on a national stage for the strength of its community and its volunteer spirit. One day soon, we'd love to invite you so you can see for yourself how wonderful our town really is. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy this special online ceremony and best of luck to everyone in the running for an award tonight. Please feel free to kick back, enjoy, and Michelle and Despy, no tears. Beautiful Victorians, we're about to hear about some amazing and inspiring projects completed across Victoria. And this is how tonight will work. We'll announce and display a list of all the category finalists and the highly commended entries and the winners in each category will be announced. After we've worked through all of the categories, I'll be joined by Captain Trash, my identical second cousin, to co-present the prestigious Sustainable Community Tidy Town of the Year Awards for 2021. I am a bit worried about Captain Trash. He can be argumentative. But let's get a little less formal. The first award tonight is for education.
This award recognises an educational campaign or program that results in empowerment and community building behaviour change. This year, 60 volunteers spent over 1,000 hours bringing communities together and making sure young Victorians are qualified biodiversity builders. And they are St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School, Indigenous Culture and Perspectives, Connecting with the Community Around Us, Sea Winds Community Hub, COVID Computer Campaign, Horsham Tidy Towns Committee, Horsham Tidy Towns Facebook page, Mornington Peninsula Foundation, Mornington Peninsula Primary Schools and Feeder Kindergartens, No Limits Program, Mornington Peninsula Shire Schools Environmental Education Program. As our judges were unable to separate two amazing entries, this category has two winners. Sea Winds Community Hubs Project COVID Computer Campaign. When the COVID closed down the Mornington Peninsula in 2020, many children struggled to do their online homeschooling on mum's mobile phone. A call out to the community resulted in over 100 laptops, iPads and Chromebooks being donated. The men's shed cleaned and reloaded them, ready for donation to local children. Not only did they reuse and recycle old electronic devices, but supported teachers and enhanced community learning power. The equally deserving winner is Mornington Peninsula Foundation, Mornington Peninsula Primary Schools and Feeder Kindergartens, No Limits Education Program. Consultation for the development of the program was undertaken by Mornington Peninsula Foundation with principals and staff from the Peninsula's vulnerable kindergartens and primary schools. Low levels of oral language was identified as the key issue affecting children's learning. 300 children were tested at 10 intervention sites and three comparison sites in Term 1 of 2019. The results showed 92% of children required some form of oral language intervention. The No Limits Education Program employs over five speech therapists. In the next three years, they'll assess, individualise and embed a developmental program in the curriculum to support the oral language and literacy development of more than 700 children. That's powerful stuff in anyone's language. The next award we have is for litter. This award recognises projects that take action to address local litter issues. Over 60 volunteers spent more than 3,900 hours tackling litter. That's a slam dunk for junk. The litter finalists this year are Horsham Tidy Town Committee, Clean Up Australia Day 2021, Aries Rubbish Rangers, Cleanest Town on the Surf Coast, Beach Patrol 3280, the 3284, Better Buds Campaign, and the winner of the litter category is Beach Patrol 3280 to 3284, Better Buds Campaign. The Better Buds Campaign addressed the cotton bud ocean litter issue. Since 2017, Beach Cleanup volunteers have undertaken 448 cleanups on Shelley Beach, Warrnambool, and collected over 23,000 cotton buds. Colleen Hewson instigated the volunteer beach cleanup program after making the disgusting discovery of these plastic sticks littering Shelley Beach. The sticks were escaping from the local sewage ocean outfall after being inappropriately flushed down the toilet. Local campaigners teamed up with Warrnambool East Primary School and Warrnambool City Council to develop and implement a local and national campaign to stop plastic cotton bud litter. They gained public support by encouraging locals to make the Better Buds pledge a promise to not buy or flush plastic stemmed cotton buds. They reached out to retailers that sell and industries that use cotton buds, calling on them to move to sustainable alternatives. They also lobbied government to include plastic stemmed cotton buds as a single use plastic item to ban in their single use plastics policies. No buds about it. Well done, Colleen. The next award we have is for waste. Recognising projects that focus on minimising what goes into landfill. This year, we saw 
almost 80 volunteers spend over 1,300 hours taking out the trash, but in the right way. The finalists for the Waste Award are Muldura Rural City Council, sending food and garden waste to a better place, Beechworth Boomerang Bags, 20,000 bags, Dimbool Alliance Club, recycling the Wimmera, Worms on Wheels, Alexandra Secondary College VCAL, Community Composting Project, Horsham Tidy Towns Committee, Poly Rock Soft Plastic Reuse, Coles Car Park Horsham. The waste category does have a highly commended entry, which is Horsham Tidy Towns Committee, Poly Rock Soft Plastic Reuse, Coles Car Park Horsham. Congratulations, Horsham Tidy Towns Committee. And the waste category winner, Muldura Rural City Council, sending food and garden waste to a better place. In July 2020, Muldura Rural City Council launched its three bin curbside system, which included a weekly food and garden organic service, along with a fortnightly garbage bin pickup and the existing fortnightly curbside recycling collection. This has been a significant change in the way the community is managing its waste. Reducing waste to landfill and recovering organic waste for beneficial use on farms. The version of curbside waste from landfill has risen from 24% in the 12 months prior to introducing the FOGO bins to a staggering 73% in the first nine months of this service. A fantastic example for others to follow. The next award is for community. This category recognises projects that lead towards a stronger, more resilient and thriving community or economy. Over 400 volunteers dedicated over 7,200 hours to their beautiful communities this year. The finalists in this category are like a Melbourne Cup field. They are Beechworth Lions Club, Beechworth Lions Club Volunteer Expo, Dimboola Bowling Club, Synthetic Greens and Upgrade Surrounds, Little River Community Land Care, Little River Weir Open Day, DTAC Wangaratta, DTAC Wangaratta Inspiring the Community with STEM, Southern Peninsula Community Support Inc, Western Port Community Support, Mornington Community Information and Support Centre, Vulnerable People Food Delivery, Quambatook District Share Shop Inc, Quambatook District Share Shop, Wimmera Cancer Centre, Horsham Wimmera Cancer Centre, Horsham Rural City Council Public Art and Horsham Heritage Trail. Horsham Agricultural Society Virtual Horsham Agricultural Show. Mornington Peninsula Shire Mornington Peninsula Outdoor Dining Project to support local hospitality traders. Crib Point CFA Crib Point New Fire Station. And the winner of the community category is Wimmera Cancer Centre Horsham. The Wimmera Cancer Centre Horsham was founded by the Wimmera and Southern Mallee communities. The key campaigner was the late Don Johns OAM, former chair of the Horsham Tidy Towns Committee. Don's passion and vision was for a local facility to deliver cancer, dialysis and hospice care services to the region. Don created the slogan, Give Where You Live. $1.6 million and counting has been donated by the community towards the project and together with state and federal government funding, the vision has been delivered. The community fundraising campaign Rachel's Wish was named after Rachel Latore, who was diagnosed with lymphoma in 2013. Rachel wrote to the federal member for Mallee for support for a new centre. Then Prime Minister Tony Abbott visited Wimmera Health Care Group and committed $1 million in federal funding. Love Don's slogan, Give Where You Live. The next category is Energy. This award recognises projects that show leadership and innovation in conservation, production and distribution of energy. And the finalists in the category are Horsham Rural City Council, Horsham Regional Livestock Exchange, HRLE Roofing, Sherwin Rice, Sherwin Rice Sustainability Initiatives, Wallet, and the winner is 
Horsham Rural City Council, Horsham Regional Livestock Exchange Roofing. In 2020, Horsham Rural City Council implemented a project to roof the Regional Livestock Exchange sale yards. The project provides significant energy and environmental benefits, including a 99 watt solar panel system powering new LED lighting, which uses 75% less power than the old system. 75%? The new roof feeds rainwater to a new water capture system used for livestock and cleaning. Raising the bar on roofs. And now for the Heritage and Culture Award. This award is for outstanding commitment to the conservation and celebration of communities' heritage and culture. 15 volunteers contribute at least 14,000 hours to conserve and celebrate the unique heritage and culture of Victorian communities. It's who we are. And the finalists for the Cultural Heritage Award are Dimbula VRI, Victorian Railways Institute, Saving the VRI, Maloga and District Landcare Group, Inc., Restored Maloga World War I Memorial for Community, Friends of Stanley Athenaeum, Hearts of Gold and Minds of Metal, Horsham Rural City Council, Horsham Botanic Gardens, English Elms, Mornington Peninsula Shire and Josie Jones Community Bin Art Project, and the winner is Friends of Stanley Athenaeum, Hearts of Gold and Minds of Metal. Stanley Athenaeum celebrated International Women's Day with the book launch of Hearts of Gold and Minds of Metal. 19th Century Women of Stanley. The launch held at the Soldiers Memorial Hall drew a crowd of around 150 people. Friends of Stanley researchers had identified more than 100 women who were born and spent most of their lives in the district during the 1800s, but their given names had never been written in local history. The women of the past were effectively invisible because they'd only been acknowledged through their husbands or fathers' names. The countless hours of research and the resultant book bridged knowledge gaps and the women are now identified along with their contribution and legacy to their community. Setting the record straight. The next award is Indigenous Culture. 220 volunteers spent over 3,700 hours committed to the conservation and celebration of the rich, diverse culture of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. The finalists in the Indigenous Culture Awards are Robin Loricella, Language and Cultural Learning Centre, St Joseph's Primary School, Stride for Education Running Heroes, Dirawara Indigenous Network, Marmangan Rock Ceremony, Barangi Gajin Land Council, Delki Garinja Good Growing, Echuca Regional Health, Enhancing Cultural Safety at Echuca Regional Health, Mornington Peninsula Shire Arts and Culture Aboriginal Art Notes, and the winner of the Indigenous Culture is Dirawara Indigenous Network, Marmangan Rock Ceremony. The Marmangan Rock Ceremony and the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community recognises the Wangaratta Citizen of the Year who has demonstrated the qualities of an elder, community service, integrity and wisdom. The Wangaratta Citizen of the Year recipient has their handprint carved into the Marmangan Rock in Apex Park, Wangaratta. These handprints are an enduring tribute to outstanding individuals in the community. The Marmangan Rock concept was conceived by respected elder Wally Cooper, whose pride in his Aboriginal heritage and message of hope for the future inspired many. His ability to connect with Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people has helped to build respect understanding and reconciliation. Big hand for Wally Cooper. The next award we have is for the environment category. This award recognises projects to protect, restore and prevent damage to the natural environment. This year, over 1,400 volunteers dug up 27,164 hours of their time to keep Victoria beautiful and thriving. And 
The finalists for the Environment Award are Little River Community Land Care, Railway Station Garden, Beechworth Urban Land Care and Sustainability, Beechworth Bush Botanic Garden, Hindmar Shire Council, Dimboola Visitor Node, Snack Reserve Land Restoration for Future Generations, the Wimmera River Improvement Committee, Langlands Track, Willa Moraine Aboriginal Sediment Pun Pun Waterholes, Mangrove Warriors, Wall of Wings, Environmental Art Projects with Kate Gorin Smith, Bull Oak and Northern Grampians Land Care Network, connecting our communities with the environment. The Environment Award this year has one finalist recognised as highly commended. Congratulations, Bullock and Northern Grampians Landcare Network, connecting our communities with the environment. And the winner of this category is Willem Moraine, Aboriginal Settlement, Pun Pun Waterholes. Willem Moraine is an Aboriginal gathering place in Hastings. Its name means home or place by the sea in the local Aboriginal Bunurong language. Over the last few years, Willem Moraine has created a series of ephemeral waterholes called pun punts. Water flows across an adjacent industrial precinct and a former landfill site to collect at the rear corner of the property which is leased from Mornington Peninsula Shire. The Aboriginal community has managed these wetlands over time by reducing introduced aquatic weeds and replacing them with local indigenous species. Now that's what I call back to the future. Beautiful Victorians, we'll have a short interlude. Can't do it alone. Lend a hand to keep Australia beautiful. Ahoy there, beautiful people! I just wanted to show you my uh, bamboozler, which me and my identical second cousin made when we were travelling on the seven seas. It was taking us years to get here, you know, and we were just driving our mum crazy because we kept on saying, are we there yet? She said, make your own fun. So how do you do that? Well, you find a bit of bamboo floating by in the water and uh, cut them up to different lengths and put them all together and hit them with thongs and that's what, that's what it's all about, the bamboozler. And while we were doing that, the crows landed up in the crow's nest and they said, ah, 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 I think those crows might be pirates too, you know. And you know what that means? That means reduce, reuse and recycle. So uh, that sounded like a good idea to me, uh, but what we gotta do is, uh, that's how we gonna keep Victoria afloat. And uh, I guess we've just got to get back to the ceremony, but I did want to mention who said I was argumentative. I am not argumentative. Ah, oh, well, back to the ceremony. The next award is Social Wellbeing. This award recognises projects that contribute to an accessible community with resilient, healthy and happy people. Good idea. 420 volunteers spent over 7,000 hours opening their communities to others and lighting up Victorian lives. The finalists for the Social Wellbeing Award are Judy Grant, Nan's Baby Bundles, Shabia Walaji and Azra Fatima Baig, Beechworth Indian Langar Lunch, Crib Point Community House Inc, Seniors High Tea, Goodie Bags, Kerry Clark, Dimboola Halloween, St. Joseph's Crib Point Primary School Wellbeing Hub, Kyabram Blue Light Kai Fit Program, Gym Based Mentoring Program, Dartmoor Lions Club, Dartmoor and District Progress Association and Community, it's happening. Willora Modern Sense of Place, a post COVID community recovery. 
Morning to Peninsula Shire, James Bryan, Napier Street Plaza. Morning to Peninsula Shire, Community Strengthening Team, Mount Martha TV and Mount Martha House Reactivation. Horsham Agricultural Society, Horsham's 150 kilometre feast. St Mary's Catholic Primary School Hastings, Wellbeing Courtyard. Morning to Peninsula Shire Youth Services Transition Seminar Series. Balnarring Pop In Hub Community Group, Balnarring Pop In Hub. Crib Point RSL, Crib Point RSL COVID Relief. Western Port Secondary College Connecting Schools and Community. The Social Wellbeing Award this year has one finalist recognised as highly commended. Congratulations, Kyabram Blue Light Kai Fit Program, Gym Based Mentoring Program. Among the many high quality entries to the social wellbeing category this year, there were two perfect scores. Too close to call. And the first winner is Western Port Secondary College, Connecting Schools and Community. Western Port Secondary College's response to COVID 19 lockdown aim to maintain student connections to the school, their peers and the broader community. This involved a major change to the school's way of delivering education. To prioritise activities that enhance health and wellbeing and resilience within our Hastings community, families and staff. A large variety of activities and programs were implemented across the Term 2 and 3 lockdown for students and staff. As restrictions eased, and to support students as they returned to school, they also introduced a number of initiatives such as COVID safe lunch wraps after the whole school returned to celebrate. The joint winner is Judy Grant, Nan's Baby Bundles. Judy started Nan's Baby Bundles to give needy Mornington Peninsula mothers a helping hand. The bundles are distributed by care organisations who deal directly with those needing help and support and generous donations from local community supporters kept the bundles coming. They faced distribution difficulties during COVID but are now back on track. COVID can't beat a can-do Nan. Judy's efforts richly deserve to be recognised. The next award is the Young Legends. This award recognises an individual or group of people, all 25 years or younger, who demonstrate outstanding contribution to any of the categories. And the finalists in the Young Legends Award are Sophie Basutl, Clay Pence for a Cause, Trading with Zach, Train and Game, Northeast Pride Collective, Rainbow Ball 2021, B1 Aubrey and B2 Benalla, Ma I Poor, City of Greater Bendio Intercultural Ambassadors, Surf Coast Environmental Action Team, Ocean Mission, Stephanie Hines, Brower College Kakai Academy, and Bart Turgus. And the winner is Bart Turgus from Horsham. Bart is a 16 year old Horsham College student and a school based trainee studying Certificate 3 in business. He's active and held in high regard within many community-based associations in Horsham. In addition, Bart has founded his own businesses, Worm King, selling worms, and Bart's Clay Target Adventures, which encourages young people to get involved in clay target shooting. Bart has an interest in social media and photography. He reported the competition activities for the Horsham Show on their Facebook page over show week and he's employed as a casual at Business Horsham and works as a retail assistant at Horsham Electronics. More power to Bart! The Keep Victoria Beautiful Gift Fund was established to provide financial assistance to encourage and support community groups to initiate new community projects. Each year, the Gift Fund provides financial support of up to $1,000 to one or more grassroots projects that are in the planning stage and will deliver sustainability outcomes, reduce litter or build capacity in local communities. Keep Victoria Beautiful is proud to support to this year's recipient. The three recipients of this year's Keep Victoria Beautiful Gift Fund Award are Green Team Shepparton, Cario Lions Bicycle Maintenance Program and Quench the First Dartmoor. 
I'll drink to that. Our next presentation is for the prestigious Dame Phyllis Frost Award. Thank you, Random Hands. Now, this award recognises an outstanding individual for their community participation who also has been or is involved with Keep Victoria Beautiful. The winner will be an individual who demonstrates community involvement and contribution, the years and level of involvement and contribution to their community, environment concern, being actively involved in protecting and enhancing their local environment, leadership, evidence of leadership and guidance of others within and outside their community to achieve a positive community outcome, Keep Australia Beautiful Victoria participation, current or past participation in Keep Australia Beautiful programs. And this year's deserving recipient is Mandy Robertson. Mandy has worked for a decade delivering environmental and leadership programs as the passionate and cheery education director at Dolphin Research Institute. Prior to this, Mandy was education coordinator at Clean Ocean Foundation. A member of Beach Patrol for three years, Mandy attends regular beach and ocean cleanup events, including the Rye Seaside Scavenge since 2017. She's been a driving force in the current Save Our Spider Crabs campaign to secure a no-take season for the vulnerable period when thousands of the crabs gather near shore. Mandy has been a volunteer water sampler for the three-year Port Phillip Echo Centre RMIT sunscreen project, which tests for chemicals harmful to coral reefs. She contributes regular litter surveys to the Tangara Blue National Marine Debris Database and coordinated with numerous stakeholders to restore coastal habitats through the Dolphin Research Institute Ambassador Program. Mandy has exhibited strong leadership skills, volunteering as a mentor for the inaugural Women in Conservation Mentoring Program 2019-20, and has been invited by Monash University to mentor new graduate teachers, establishing sustainability in their classrooms. In 2020, Mandy became a certified climate reality leader through Al Gore's climate reality training and was recognised as Environment Education Victoria's Community Educator of the Year. What a talented and committed person Mandy is. Congrats to a deserving recipient. Thank you, Random Hands. And now we're going to cross live to Captain Trash at the Hastings Jetty Fish Shed. Ahoy there, shipmates. Let's keep Victoria shipshape. We might run our ground without you around to keep us on course to the tidier towns. Just made it. The Tidy Towns Awards showcase the many community projects completed in large and small towns across regional Victoria, often without acknowledgement or recognition. Tidy Towns provides the vehicle for these projects to inspire all Victorians. And the finalists of the 2021 Sustainable Communities Tidy Towns are Ward, are Beechworth, Gimbular, Crib Point, Dartmoor, Hastings, Little River, Poowong, Mount Martha, Horsham. The 2021 Sustainable Communities Tidy Town of the Year is, somebody has to say it, totally awesome. Horsham. Horsham has again entered a number of high quality projects in a wide range of categories, all delivering benefits to the community at large. Keep Victoria beautiful thanks all at Mornington Peninsula Shire for their hard work in preparation for a live event. Be sure to set sail for regional Victoria as soon as you can. To all the winners and finalists announced tonight, your projects have truly been inspirational. Aye, aye, me hearties. Let's give them all a huge round of our applause. If you'd like more information regarding any of these projects, please get in touch with Keep Victoria Beautiful. On behalf of Keep Victoria Beautiful, I'd like to give a big thank you to all who have helped to make tonight very special, including Mornington Peninsula Shire, Thank you for being part of the Sustainable Communities Tidy Towns program 
and we will see you in Horsham next year, hopefully. Good night, everybody. It's great to see more people reduce, reuse and recycle to keep Victoria beautiful. That's right, but don't forget, remove and refuse the single use. Single use is just plain wrong. R-O-N-G. That's W. What do you mean, W? Why can't it be double me? I told you he was argumentative. Arr.